What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Moose Mike here from Deadly Domination Gaming. Today I'm going to make a short video on how you can fix your PS4 disk drive if it's not taking in disks. So with that said guys, a few years ago, as many of you know, I made a video on how to fix your PS4 disk drive rollers if they pop out, making it unable for you to insert a disk or to take a disk out of your PlayStation. So. With that video, I've gotten a lot of feedback from all of you, and one of the biggest questions I wanted to touch up on is, many people were asking me, Mike, the issue's not my rollers. My PlayStation will not take the disc in. It's like there's a barrier there that will not allow my disc to go in. So with that said, guys, yes, there is a barrier, and basically what that means is your PlayStation is recognizing that there is a disc in, and it throws that barrier up, so that way it doesn't allow you to insert more disks and potentially jam your disk drive. So, unfortunately, for whatever reason, sometimes the PlayStation will still sense that there's a disk in the drive without there actually being a disk in there and throw that barrier up. So basically what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys how to get that barrier back down so you can get your disks in and out of your PlayStation. So without further ado guys, let's jump straight into it. Alrighty guys, so as you can see here, we have our PS4 toolkit. This can be used on a PS3, a PS4, and also DualShock controllers to tear them down completely. It's cost me 10 bucks on Amazon, and it is one of the greatest purchases I've made for a PlayStation, so um, it helps me out with everything. So yeah, 10 bucks, guys on Amazon. Next, we have a pair of needle nose pliers. We're going to need these for one small task to get this thing apart. Throw them aside, and as you guys can see here, we have a white sheet of paper just to put our screws on. So let's go ahead and open up our toolkit. Now the toolkit has four screwdrivers. There's two torque drivers and there's also two Phillips. Um, to get this back plate off, we're going to need one of the torque drivers. So as you guys can see here in the back of the PlayStation, we have three screws there. We're going to want to take them screws off one by one to get that top plate off to give us access to the disk drive itself. So let's go ahead and take them screws out. Now, when you get them screws out, you just got to be gentle, guys. You don't have to rip it out. Just be gentle on each side. Just kind of pull that off, just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and set that aside. So now we have access to the disk drive itself. So basically, guys, there's going to be a few screws up here up top we're going to take off. And what we're going to start with is the Wi-Fi cable first and front. I always start with that one and uh, work my way around the disk drive. So we're going to go ahead and grab one of our drivers. And we're going to go ahead and take that Wi-Fi cable off. As you guys can see there, just comes right off. Put that screw aside. You can pop that Wi-Fi cable right up and throw that in the back. So we have a ribbon right here, guys. Now you want to be gentle with this whenever you take this off. The casing that the ribbon is connected into, you're just going to want to gently push down on that casing, and it'll make the ribbon just pop right out for you. So if you just push down and just go ahead and pull that ribbon right back, it slides right out. Very easy, very simple. Next, we have a screw here. We're going to go ahead and take that screw off. Nice and easy, just pop that screw out. We're gonna throw that aside also on our sheet of paper. And also, you guys can see a screw, a little screw right in front. I tend to always forget this screw, but make sure you get this one, pull this one out. It takes a small Phillips to get that screw out. Back to the torques, we're gonna to come over here and pull this screw out right here on the side of the disk drive. And as you guys can see here, you have two screws, one up top and one down at the bottom. You want to take that bottom screw out. It can be a little tricky to get out of the system, but as long as you get it unscrewed, you really don't have to worry about it too much. So just go ahead and unscrew that bad boy out of there. Just get it, get it loose. You don't have to worry about pulling the screw all the way out. You can get it out whenever you flip your disk drive over. So, as you guys can see here, this is where our needle nose pliers come into play. You can see a wire casing right there, a, li a little wire harness. Just take your needle nose pliers and we're just going to be very gentle guys with this part. Just take them and press them in there and pull back gently and you see that will pop right out there. Now that you've done all of this, you are able to freely remove your disk drive. So there we go. There's your disk drive. Now to access the inside of the drive, we're going to go ahead and flip it over. And that's where our screw that we uh, left in there comes right out. Go ahead and take your screw out, put it aside. I'm going to flip that over and we have three screws that require a small Phillips screwdriver. Right there in them three spots, we're going to take them three screws out. Just grab your small Phillips. 
I'm going to start with that screw. Hit that screw out of there. On to the next screw. Now, guys, I do have a game in this in this disk drive, and the reason I do is to show you what it's going to look like whenever the lip or the uh, barrier is up. I'll drop that one. I'm going to pick that up real quick, throw that on the paper. Now that we have them screws all pulled out, we'll be able to easily just lift off this top plate of the disk drive. Just grab it on both sides, just very gently just work it up. Just like that. We do have a game um, under the silver part of this right here. We're just going to take that game, put that aside. Now, being that a game was in there, my PlayStation recognized that, and it pulled the lip up. Now, this is the issue that you guys may be having. Sometimes, even when you take a disc out of your disc drive, there will the lip will fail to go back down, which will not allow you to put a disc back in the drive. There's the lip, the barrier right there. This is the main part of this video. This is exactly what we want to do to get that lip back down. That's the main thing. This will help you get your discs back in to play your, um, to play your games, as, as usual. So... With that, lip, with that being said, there's the lip. Now, there's one small, little, simple task that you have to do. You see this white piece right here, right on the side of your drive right here. Very simple. Take your thumb, gently press it back. You'll hear a click. Once you get that press back all the way, this will disengage that barrier. This will allow you to... Um, go on about your business and play your games in your uh, PlayStation and your disk drive. So, with that being said, guys, that's all you have to do to get that barrier down to go ahead and play your games. Um, I'm not sure for ever, whatever reason this happens to people. It has happened to me before, um, I think on more than one occasion, actually. And I've had to go in and fix that. I don't know why exactly, but for some reason the PlayStation senses that there's a game in the drive when there's actually not. So... We're just going to rinse and repeat, guys. We're just going to go backwards here, rewind, put everything back together, put our drive down in there. We got the screws back in. Now, we're going to go ahead and grab your needle nose again, and just as gently as you pulled the wiring harness out, you're going to gently put it back in. So just be very careful with that. We're just going to take and i got to set the PlayStation down here just so I can uh, focus on this a little bit. Kind of got to guide it in there. And then you're going to take your driver, put that bottom screw back down in there. That could be a little tricky as well, but uh, you'll get it. And then just take your ribbon. You can push it right back up into that casing until you hear a click on that ribbon. Then give it a little, little tug just to make sure it's in there. Next, we're going to throw our Wi-Fi cable back on and get the rest of these screws back on. Just like that. I'm going to throw that back on. And get that screw back on back there. And there you go, guys. I'm just going to put the top plating back on once you get them screws on top on. Go ahead and throw your screws back in. Guys, I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. I know a lot of you had questions on how to do this, and I hope uh, I try to describe it the best way I can. Again, do this at your own discretion. If this is what you feel like you need to do, go ahead and do it, guys. Um, I hope it works for you. It worked for me. And again, guys, my name is Moose Mike from Deadly Domination Gaming, and I'll see you guys on my next video.